Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you are new here, my name is Autumn. I am a former elementary teacher and now I homeschool my two girls, Alani, who will be going into first grade next school year, and Emmy, who will be doing pre-K next school year. So I have been preparing so many things for next school year. If you missed it, I have my curriculum picks videos up on my YouTube channel, so make sure to check those out. And these are some of the resources that I plan to use during the school year. I have been pulling in little things as time has gone on, but recently I just grabbed a bunch of stuff and I figured I would just share it in this video for anyone else who is looking for different resources for kids around the same age range that I have. I'm going to start with books. Most of the books are from Target. They had a phenomenal sale that I quickly took advantage of. It actually included games as well as books, so I'll show you those as well but I am going to start with books and then move on from there. I have some things that'll help us with crafts. I have other things that will help us with handwriting. So lots of different things to share. Oh, and before I get started, there are two books that I don't have in this haul because they're not here yet. One of them is My Encyclopedia of Very Important Animals. We have the Encyclopedia of Very Important Things. I think that's the one we have. So I wanted to get the animals ones. I think that these ones are really great for Alani's age, but I also think they are a lot more approachable for Emmy. I wouldn't say they're necessarily made for Emmy's age, but compared to some of the other books we have, these are the ones that are closest to her. The other book that we are waiting for is Are You What You Eat? So those are the two books that I don't have in this haul, but are on their way. Most of these are from thrift books. I love thrift books. If you're new to my channel, I share a lot of things that I get from thrift books. But this one I actually got from Amazon. I wanted to find a specific guide for Pennsylvania that was meant for kids. So this one is actually by the person who did the Birds of Pennsylvania field guide but this one is for kids. And what I think is really cool about this is the way that the birds are split up. So if you can see that it is based on colors. And I thought that was a really cool way to break this up, especially for kids. So they have the quick flip color guide and then inside, like before they get into the different birds, it talks about building a nest, attracting birds to feeders, how to use this guide in general, and then you start getting into the different birds that are in this guide. And at the end, they have an index of all the birds, but it's not just an index. It is a checklist. So your kid can check off the different birds that they see. So I thought this was really cool. I don't necessarily know what's available for different states, but I was really excited to find this for Pennsylvania. I love these books, especially for Alani's age, where for her, she can't read all of these on her own. Some kids at her age I know definitely can, but for her, she can read some of it. And that gets her so excited. I feel like it's such a good introduction to some of the harder books. There's a lot of repetition that allows them to really feel more confident. So I really love these books for kids around Alani's age. This one I had on my wish list for a while. Obviously not Christmas season, but a great time to get books like this. So this is Christmas is Coming and it has traditions from around the world and we went over this specifically with a few different countries we went over this around Christmas time so I thought that it would be really cool because I know we're going to do the same thing this upcoming Christmas I thought it'd be cool to have a book like this that explores a few different traditions that you might find and I am glad that it came available on my wish list this book I got just because it should be in my library I think this is such a good book to have and we didn't have it yet. So this was another one that I was keeping my eye on. And same for this book, my, I think it was my second graders. I can't remember if it was first or second, but I'm pretty sure it was my second graders who really liked this book. So I wanted to make sure to add this to library. And I just think this is a phenomenal book. We talk a lot about geography and different countries with the Torchlight curriculum. And we have discussed how weather and climate and all of those things are different depending on where you're living. So I wanted to make sure that we added this book to our library as well. The last one from Thrift Books is this 
little kids first big book of weather we have the first big book of why and alani loves that one so i wanted to get this as well especially because i know that weather is something we're going to be looking more into with the first grade curriculum that we're using for science all right <laughs> time for the box of target books this beautiful book is an anthology of our extraordinary earth i have a few of these types of books i think they are so pretty and I love the gold on the side. I think it's such a nice detail. So this one is an enchanting collection that tells the unique stories of more than 100 features of our amazing planet, from deserts and rainforests to icy glaciers and bubbling springs. One of the things I love about these books is the photography. So they generally have an illustration on one side and then a beautiful picture on the other side. This one is Frozen Waterfall, but all of the pages are equally beautiful and I think that they just have the perfect amount of text. This one is Weird and Wonderful Nature. I think this one will be really fun. Alani loves all things weird, so I think this one will be really great to look through together. But again, beautiful pictures. I will just, oh, I remember when I taught fifth grade. This is the one that my fifth graders loved the most. So the blood squirting lizard. Any kid who loves weird things with animals, this is a good one. I think I'm most excited for this one, but I remember when I found this one, it said that there weren't a lot left and I was really worried that we weren't gonna get it. So I'm so excited. It's what's the difference? So aardvark or anteater, possum or opossum ladybug or firebug, donkey or mule, just different animals that it might be easy to confuse the two. I think this is such a cool book. And my girls who absolutely love Wildcrats are going to just love this book so much. This is the page that I'm going to need the most. We're really working on the one-to-one -one correspondence. I mean, you can count, but the actual like, this is one, this many is two, this many is three. That is where she has trouble. She can tell me the group of numbers. She can count to, I guess, 20 or so. But when we are going one, two, three, counting little pieces, that one-to-one -one correspondence is what we're still working on. So I like books like these for that kind of stuff. And obviously playing different games and doing activities but it's nice to have books as well. And what I think is cool about this is there are a few different things to count on the pages. So for example, this one is the number four. And for the number four, you can count for fish, for geese, for turtles, for frogs. So there are different things within the page to practice that. If you already think I have too many books about animals, then you're probably not even going to want to see the other books that I got, and you might just want to skip ahead. But this one is the bedtime book of animals. What I like about this is the pages are short and sweet, so we could easily just do one animal a night, and I think that would be really fun. I really love all of these reference books. These are the types of things that, yes, I could probably get a lot of reference books from the library, but I really love to just have these things right at our fingertips. My girls can pull them out and really just explore on their own. This one is my encyclopedia of very important oceans. With my parents living in the Bahamas, I do feel like my kids have picked up even more of an interest in the ocean, animals, plants, life in general in the ocean. So I think this one's gonna be a really great one for us. I even found the mangroves page, which is something they learned about when we took them to the Bahamas and how it even helps with the conservation of the coral reefs and everything. So again, I just love all of these reference books. The last animal book I have is Animal Atlas. We really enjoyed the other Smithsonian Atlas book, so I thought that the Animal Atlas would be a really great pairing, especially since Torchlight uses Animal Adventures, something like that. I can't remember the exact title. And that book is really cool, but I do find that I often want more. So I think this will really help us. And then this will help us kind of find exactly what we're looking for for the region. And then from there, we have a ton of books to choose from to go even deeper. I mentioned that we had the older version of this book. And since they were having this phenomenal sale, I decided to just go for it and get the newer version. Alani really likes the older version of this. So I think it's good to have the more updated version. And the last thing that is not related to anything that I have 
in this book portion of this haul is the Spider-Man book. Um, I guess I should specifically say Spidey and his amazing friends because it's the like little kid Spider-Man. But my girls love this, more specifically Emmy, and I wanted her to just have something special. Again, this was a really great sale, so I threw this one in. As I lift this up, it is so heavy. I think the reality of all of the books I got is kind of setting in and I currently do not know where I'm going to put these. <laughs> Moving on to games, I had mentioned that I had gotten this math dice game for Alani and then I discovered there was one for Emmy's age. So I think I have a picture, maybe I have a video. I'll insert something with the girls playing it. But for this one, it comes with these like tokens or coins. I can't remember what they call them. Um, and then it comes with these. So for this, if I remember correctly, there are a few different ways to play. And I appreciate that because as Emmy's math skills grow, we'll be able to add in different games, but they loved the games that we did play. They had a lot of fun. And this is something that Alani can do with Emmy just on their own, they're able to do. I kind of have to give some oversight, but on their own in general, they're able to play these games. So this is my first math dice. If you're looking for like a two player game for little ones, this is a great one for math skills. This next game is one that I've seen a lot of times, but I haven't grabbed it. I love, and I've said this so many times, but I love things that will grow with them. So especially when I look at a game and there are different ways to play it, depending on like the age or skill level, that kind of stuff I love. So with this one, it can be just a shape puzzle or it can be sensory matching. It could be a memory game or you can do actual competitive play with it. So different ways to approach the game depending on the skill level. That's what I love. I'm gonna try not to say one-to-one -one correspondence a million times in this video, but again, that is what we are working on. So this game, Count Your Chickens, we've actually played it a few times now and you count the number of spaces and the number of spaces determines how many of the little chick pieces that you pick up. So not only do you have to count the spaces, but you have to keep that number in mind and then pick up that many pieces. So I really love the way this game approaches counting. I feel like most people wouldn't add this to educational games, but when you are counting the number of marbles that your hippo has eaten, there is another chance to add in some math skills. So for Alani, obviously this really isn't helping with very much, but for Emmy, this is really helpful. And come on, who doesn't love Hungry Hungry Hippos? It's such a cute game. This game is another one that we've already broken into. It's called Snug as a Bug in a Rug, and it's for counting colors and shapes. This is another one where, depending on the skill level, you can just change the way you play the game. So there are three different levels, and more specifically, it works on colors, numbers, shapes, counting, big and little, and cooperation. I didn't mention this about the chicken game, but the chicken game and this game are both cooperative play games. I really like to have both cooperative play and competitive games. I think it's nice to have that mixture. I start with cooperative play with my girls because I think the most important thing is kind of just learning the following rules parts of games. And then from there, I like to mix them both in. This last one was a random one I picked up because we have like a big wooden version of Connect Four, but it is winter themed. So it's snowmen and gingerbread men. And we generally only take it out around winter time. So I wanted to have this version as well. The girls love those like jumbo ones that you get to play with. But I think this is more practical for us to just have around the house. My camera literally just cut me off. It said I timed out on recording. So that was actually pretty good because I needed to stretch this video's longer than I thought it would be. But I'm gonna jump into the next portion of it. These are things that I got from Target, Walmart, and Amazon, as well as Lakeshore. I almost forgot about that. But Target had some crazy clearances and I grabbed these items. I needed a larger paper trimming board. So I grabbed this, it was 70% off. So I wanted to make sure I grabbed that and it was the last one, so I'm glad I did. I also grabbed these scent markers. I have the, I think they're Mr. Sketch. I cannot remember the name. I feel like I should know that. But I have found, at least from reading it, 
I don't see that they say washable. So I've been really careful with those scent markers and these ones are washable. So I think that I can feel a little bit better about giving these ones to the girls. And these were also 70% off. So it is 16 dry erase markers for $4.99. I thought that was a really great deal. The biggest thing that is going to help us out a little bit is I got a newer version of the Cricut. So I've had my Cricut since before I was married. I literally used it to make my save the dates, which is really special. And I'm so glad that I have done so many things with it. But at this point, it is fairly old when it comes to all of the different things Cricut has. So I know this is not the three, but I thought it would be nice to upgrade to the two and they were having a crazy sale. I ended up being able to get a really great deal through Walmart. There are just a lot of different fun ways that I've used the Cricut, and so I'm excited to just have a slightly newer version. I got this tracing board for Emmy, and I like that it came with two of these. So if we lose one stylus, we've got another one, but this one has numbers on the one side and then on the reverse side it has shapes so i think she's really gonna love this and it seems like it's really good quality i also got the alphabet one they were sold out of like the board alphabet but i'm kind of glad they were because it made me lean more toward this one and i think this is really good but i have to open it first all right so with this one each letter is on a separate large tile. And I think that is really awesome because we can kind of use it in two ways. For tracing, one, but also for spelling out words. So I think this is really cool. And again, I'm glad I ended up going with this one. I kind of was almost forced into it because I was not looking for this. I was looking for the board. So as you can see, there is the capital M on one side, and then the lowercase m on the other. So all of them are like this, and then it has a larger stylus than the other one to trace the letters. So this is the difference in the size of the stylus between the two. Believe it or not, there are only two more things. I am almost done. And so this was something I saw on sale. It was a dry erase whiteboard, and it came with the magnets, it came with the eraser, and it came with markers that have the eraser on the other side but I really wanted this because of the next thing that I will show you after. But I like that it stands on its own. I ended up getting two of them so that Alani can work on something while I'm working with Emmy. And I specifically wanted one that was magnetic. So really happy with this purchase. And the reason being, we got these magnetic letters. Lakeshore had these for 50% off, so we are very fortunate to live right by one. All of the letters are in here, and I have to decide I did get two of them. I have to decide if I need two of them. What I plan to do is actually glue some of these letters together. For example, the SH digraph, I will take an S, I will take an H, and I will put them together. And I plan to do that with some of the vowels as well. I want to do that fairly quickly so that I can see how many it leaves me with and that'll kind of help me know if I really do need the second box of this or not. But that is my next project and these are great, I'll show you. They work really well on this board. So they go right up and they stay pretty well. So happy with this, like even if I shake this, <laughs> like these are still on. So good magnetized board and good magnets on these. I have a lot of stuff to put away, but I am so excited about the things we have. And some of these things I've actually kept from the girls. So I know they're really gonna be excited to kind of just explore all of these things. I am going to link as many of the things that I can in the description and i just want to say thank you if you made it to the end of this video if you made it to the end of the video please let me know because this was definitely one of my longer ones but that's gonna be it for this video as always thank you so much for your support on my channel if you have any questions also make sure to leave those in the comments and i will see you in the next one bye